Well, hello, and welcome to number four of our video blogs. My name is Toby, and I'm here with the Clan Beat team in Estonia. Um, we're gathered together for a residential to work through our intentions, our reflections from last year, and what we're going to focus on through the next few months. Um, I thought I'd share a story with you that I hope resonates with all educators and everybody that works in organisations because our key work at Clanby is relational and the story I want to tell you is one of a head of school. She's at the end of her calendar year, she's cold, a bit like me, tired and she's headed off for a residential to meet with all the other heads of her area and her faculty are grumpy and ill and the kids in her school are feeling a bit overwhelmed by things and her general mood is low and she's reflecting with the other heads and one of the heads of school is this wise old discerning human that everybody knows as being someone who always gets it right and at the end of the evening this wise old head turns to her and says you know, in your school, there is someone whose idea is going to change the world for the better. And off he goes. Well, she goes back to her faculty and she goes back to the school and her community. And she's thinking about this because the wise person always gets it right. And she says to her vice principal, it's really strange, but I was told that someone in our community has an idea that's going to change the world for the better. And it's true. Well, the vice principal shared it with the heads of the department and they start to wonder, who could it be? Is it Bob, the janitor, or is it one of the year sixes? Could it be the head of science? But what they're aware of is that in order to nurture this idea, they're going to have to listen to one another. They're going to have to give time for each other. They're going to have to prioritize their relationships in order to make sure that this idea can be nurtured and generated. And sure enough, it starts to change the culture of the community. Parents visit and think, what is it about this place that's so different? Students are revered and respected for their ideas and thoughts. And the culture shifts and it's conceivable that that community is yours. And it's not impossible to think that the person with an idea who's going to change the world is already in your school. And what does it mean to give each other the time and attention to nurture and foster it? I love that story because I think long and hard about where potential lies. And I, and I share it today because actually within our organisation, that's something that we are trying to aspire to and support because how much does culture and tone affect results? And uh, in a world that is as complicated as ours, isn't that the truth? So I hope you're well and warmer than I am and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>